Okay. All right. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Am I good? Okay. Hello, Battle Bays. My name is Andrea Siobhan or Specialist Starks. I'm active duty army stationed in Georgia. Now, this home tour is a bit late because I've been living in this apartment for the last two years. So yeah, I just didn't realize I was going to be here as long as I've been here. And now that I know I have to be here for at least another year, I decided to get comfortable. So please excuse the lack of individualism um is that the word i'm looking for i don't know i mean there's nothing really in here for me to have been here for two years so yeah just bear with that but it's coming along it's it's kind of cute it's coming along i live in a two bed i live on post in a two bedroom one bathroom apartment on the second floor and um i like living on post it's convenient for me especially being a single mom i have my kids daycare right up the street i have my son's school right around the corner um i can literally see it from my patio sometimes the commissary right up the street you have the px you literally have everything right here that you need so for me that is convenient and a bonus being that close to work because it's like an eight minute drive to my unit if even that so yeah everything is pretty it's pretty nice I like it so we're gonna jump right into this home tour but before we do that if you could please subscribe to my channel I am a new YouTube channel and I want to start making videos military related the army of course because I'm in the army and basically just my life being in the army and my experiences because I am a single mother in the army and I get a lot of questions about that so it took me a while to figure out how to make it work, but it works for me. So when it comes to school and parenting and just living life in general, if you're trying to figure out how to balance out all three, or is that four? If you're trying to figure out how to balance life with military demands, subscribe because I'm going to show you. <laughs> but let's get into this home tour. We're gonna start outside in the shed area where I keep the garbage can and the recycling bin. I also keep a lot of extra military gear I'm not using at the moment as well as anything my kids have that we're just not using at the moment. This offers a lot of extra storage, so I really like that in this apartment. Now we're going upstairs because as I stated before, I stay on the second floor. So here is my apartment, my beautiful rug that I got from Walmart and welcome to my apartment. Now when I enter, I take my shoes off by the door and I just throw my keys off to the side because again, I'm not finished yet and I need a key table right there. There's a closet right off to the side as soon as you enter, which is really convenient again with the storage because I can keep all of my stuff organized and ready to go when I need it. Now we're entering the living room and as you can see it's really big, it's really bright, the natural light is amazing and I love that. I never had an issue with placing my furniture because of all the space. I got my furniture prior to joining the military but there's a place where I'll post that offer my finishing pieces which I really liked and appreciated. I just got this TV and I thought it was too big but I since then have adjusted to it. When I bought it I had to buy a new TV stand because my old one was just way too small but I'm not complaining because football season has been real. Now here in the corner I just have a lamp sitting on my end table as well as a DIY project right here and the candle frame that I got from Dollar General and a regular candle from Walmart. I have my little knickknacks sitting back here against the wall on the floor and I just like the field and the vibe they give to my living room area. Now on the other side of my love seat I have the other end table with the same setup as the other one aside from my car that I have sitting there that's sentimental value. I don't like the cord to the lamps on this side because it's super short and it just lays that awkwardly but it'll be okay I guess. So here's another angle of the living room and yes you see two random pink blooms sitting there because my daughter just had her first birthday. Now on that chase you're going to see this giant pillow and I got that for $8 at the Dollar General and I'm currently looking for a throw blanket to go with it. Like I said I'm not done yet but everything is in a working progress so, so far so good. 
and here's my end table with another Bath & Body Works candle and more candles from Walmart. This very beautiful plushy thick carpet came from Walmart as well and it was a really good lucky find because when I went back to find another one I could not find them and since then I still haven't been able to find any. Now we're entering the dining and kitchen area and this is just the basic, I guess, apartment layout for the kitchen, which some people complain about it, but it works for me. I like it. A closer look at the dining room area, you can see there is not much over here at all. Um, just the furniture and my dishes and I'm thinking about um, putting like a bar up or something. Obviously some curtains, but again, it's a work in progress. Here is your kitchen area with your dishwasher, your sink, uh, Mia's bottles and where I keep the dishes, the entrance to the laundry room. Over here you have the microwave, the stove, the fridge over here. To me, I never felt it necessary to have too much in a apartment kitchen when you're just renting. And here is the laundry room and guys, seriously, it's huge. I mean, look how big this laundry room is. Like, you can do so much in here. I can fit so much stuff in here. I keep me stuff right over there. I keep my brooms and things up against this corner over here. But seriously, I'm thinking about putting in a fridge because like just a little mini one though, because there's the space. I mean, I have the space for it, but God, I love this laundry room. Welcome to my happy place, this beautiful big giant patio. Oh my goodness, we be grilling out here. We just be hanging out. I love it so much. Mia just had her first birthday out here. Yes, it needs to be pressure washed, but it's just amazing. I love sitting out here, doing my homework. Um, on the weekends, I like having my coffee out here or my tea out here. Me and Rand come out here to just you know hang out and just talk and oh my goodness when it rains it's the perfect place to be it's so relaxing because it's completely covered so you don't even get wet I mean this is one of my favorite places about this apartment now before we go back to the room and the bathroom I want to show you this closet right here where we keep our towels and the tissue uh, meals wipes and diapers Darion's bath toys and all that craziness listen i know my lotions are looking kind of empty right now that's because i missed those sales this year but listen your girl will be at that next semi-annual sale and we're entering the one and only bathroom and there i am but yeah we only have one bathroom i wish there was more but there isn't and it's not too bad, it's actually pretty spacious, so it really don't matter. You have the tub over here, you have the sink, you have the, the toilet, you know, and it looks really nice, so there's nothing to complain about here. I almost forgot the medicine cabinet and again there's nothing really in here just a lot of stuff for my braces and my multivitamins and my hair skin and nail vitamins that I take daily and now we're on to this little awning so no there's not two bathrooms but there is two little sink parts and this is where I do all my makeup and things like that this is where I have my clothes like uh there's my jackets jeans from Fashion Nova and pretty much all of my clothes are here there is my school bag and my scale that's not my friend at the moment um in this little clear thing I keep a lot of my jewelry um there it is there's the jewelry and a lot of knickknacks and things that I just decide to collect because I do things like that but yeah it's fun in this cabinet I only have makeup and a few facial products and that's about it where I spend most of my time the bedroom here is Amia's area and this is where we keep all of her things her clothes her medicine her snacks this is her little corner over here and again here is my beautiful bed I try to always make sure it is made um, 
but yeah me and me are roommates so there is her bed it goes to show you just how big this room is that i'm able to fit my chase my dresser with a mirror a nightstand a queen size bed a full size crib and some extra storage pieces and still have all of this space so yeah it gives you an idea on how big this apartment is Now for my son's room and it's really empty right now because he is with his dad for the school year but yeah for a seven year old this was a lot of space he spent a lot of time in here and he absolutely loved it. Now between the two rooms I have this giant closet I mean look at all of this space and I pretty much use this area for my shoe storage any type of extra storage that I need I keep my important papers in here um, yeah just pretty much anything there like the possibilities are endless with all of this space I'm thinking about putting like some extra shelving and things and so I can add more shoes here maybe a show for like handbags and things like that but yes this space is bomb this is dope and this is me running late picking me up from daycare well not really late i have 15 minutes to get there but look at me trying to record this video losing track of time acting like i ain't got no sense my daughter is about to have a whole attitude andrea remember we don't put the keys there anymore we drop them on the floor good job now let's go let's go no you must have forgot your wallet again well anyway if you like this home tour please give me a thumbs up like subscribe i will be making more military related videos if you have any military military related questions please feel free to ask questions in general Please ask, leave a comment below, and thank you so much for watching. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that it's done for you.